Here we have a, a pretty generic um, five mark torque question uh, and force question. So we're given a, a diagram, we're given some values here about the external field and, and the cross-sectional area um, of the coil. And it's asking us to determine the magnitude of torque acting on the coil. Okay, it only says magnitude, so we don't need to give a clockwise or anti-clockwise or anything like that. Um, so we've got two marks there, so our first step is our equation. So tau is equal to NBIA cos theta. We're not given any information about the number of turns, so we'll assume that the number of turns is one. So you've got one turn times the external field strength of 60 millitesla, so 60 times 10 to the minus three. Our current, um, now we're not uh, directly given the current in the question, but we're given voltage and we're given the resistance. So assuming you know the rest of the coil has absolutely zero resistance, um, the coil, the resistance of the circuit is therefore five ohms, the voltage is 12, so the current's gonna be 12 on five, which is 2.4. Okay, so that times 12 on five, times our cross-sectional area of 0.04, Okay, and the angle is the angle between the plane of the coil and the magnetic field. In this case here, it's zero. It's going to be times cos zero. Okay, if you evaluate that, you should get about 5.76 times 10 to the minus 3 newton meters. Okay, again, it only asks for magnitude, um, so you can't, or you don't need to give it a direction. But if it did want a direction, all we'll do is we'll say, well, the current runs from positive to negative. So the current is running through this way from D to C to B to A. Then we just use our right hand palm rule on both sides. Okay, so we get our fingers going from north to south and the current in, is running from B to A. So on this side here, the force will be into the page. That side here, the force will be out of the page. So it would appear to be running in an anti-clockwise direction as viewed from here. So we might denote that as point X or something like that. So it would be an anti-clockwise torque. For part B, just saying calculate the magnitude and direction of force on side AB of the coil. Okay, so part B. So this is just asking us to use our NBI or sine theta. So F is equal to N BIL sine theta. So again, our N, no information about it, assume it's one. Um, our B is 60 millitesla, 60 times 10 to the minus three. Our current is 12 on five. And our L, so we're told that it's an area of 0 0.04, and we're told that it's a square. So the square, th this is the area of a square, which, which is just AB times CD. Those two are equal, so essentially what that is, that is like the length of the square um, squared. It's L squared. So to solve for the length of the side of the coil, we're just going to have to square root that 0 0.04, which will come out to be 0 0.2. Okay, so L is 0 0.2, and then times sine 90. Okay, and that'll come out to be 2.88 times 10 to the minus 2 newtons. Okay, so again, the direction, right-hand palm rule. So fingers run from north to south. The current we know is running from B to A. So the force on this side of the coil is actually going to be into the page. Into page. Five months. 